Hello dear students, I am Dr. Vandana Balchandanani. Today's lecture is for BA 4th semester students. The text is a very significant text, thought-provoking text that is Lord of the Flies by William Golding. A teacher turned writer William Golding was shocked seeing the ills of the society, the ugly aspect of the modern world. He was upset, disturbed when he sees death, destruction, which were been caused by world wars. Like T.S. Eliot, he is of the opinion that this world has been turned into Westland. The aspects of morality, virtuosity, gratitude, goodness, all are thrown to winds. He, like W.P. Yeats, quote, mere anarchy is loosened upon the world, unquote, thinks this is the condition of the world. He, like Thomas Hobbes, thinks that the real nature of man is selfish. Man is selfishly angelistic being who just think about himself. Self is God. Self is very important aspect and no concern for the other. He also of the opinion like Joseph Conrad, the evil, the darkness that prevails in every human heart is cause of man's suffering. He is also of the opinion like Jonathan Swift when he says man is a corrupted being, a filthy yahoo. Swift says I hate an animal and that is man. When you will read the novels of William Golding, you will find these thoughts are echoing in his novels one after another. Because <clears throat> Golding has witnessed by his eyes this negative aspect of human nature. Because of man's commercial mentality, religious fanaticism, uncompromising egoism. Uncompromising egoism has been revealed by Saturn's uh, thoughts in Paradise Lost. It is better to rule in hell than to serve in heaven. The men are governed by this uncompromising ambition, egoism, envy, covetousness and what these negative aspects, vices of men are doing. It is bringing death, destruction, chaos, anarchy, confusion in the world. This world which can be like an ironic world, but man's ambition has turned into a fiery hell. As we all are aware that the world is today suffering from this pandemic and this is being not given by nature. We are aware this very bitter fact that this has been spread by the ambition of men. So men is always or the evil that exists in every human heart is cause of all the suffering and the trouble. There are writers who are always concerned about the suffering and the plight of the people. And they are of the opinion that there are various agencies which are working against a human being. For an example, the writers like uh, Charles Dickens, Mulkuraj Anand, 
they are of the opinion that it is callousness indifference of the society the society is ill treating its sikhs its fagin and which is giving birth to such kind of criminals so society its institutions its callousness is responsible for the tragedy of human being writers like thomas hardy they are of the opinion that there is a force that is blind cruel illogical irrational which is working against of human being that blind power is responsible for responsible for man's tragedy then there are writers like rk narayan jane austen they are of the opinion that some disorder that exists in family that is cause of man's trouble so either the problem caused by society or by fate or by upbringing um that is that are responsible for the tragedy of or the suffering of human being but writers or thinkers like william golding like joseph conrad they are of the opinion that it is the evil forces which exist in human heart it is the savage instinct that lies hidden in human heart the primitive instinct which are responsible for all kind of death destruction suffering in the world the things which are occurring in the world the two forces are always working the forces of the power of light and the power of darkness the power of darkness is very strong and it's always engulfing or destroying the power of light in the novel the power of intelligence is represented by piggy common sense by ralph and these powers a power of innocence is represented by simon these powers are being killed murdered butchered by the power of darkness that is been represented by a cruel trivial kind of boy jack a sadistic boy roger so the power of darkness with its power is destroying what is good in the world okay the golding is of the opinion that the power of darkness is more uh, prevalent more uh, powerful and destroying the goodness in the world it has been said what is inherent in man is changeless now the debatable question is what is inherent in man the thinkers like rousseau they are of the opinion that man is a rational being man is essentially uh, good so goodness nobility virtuosity these all good qualities are prevailing in human beings which are sustaining force which are supporting this world but there are writers or thinkers like william golding joseph conrad hobbes and others those who are of the opinion that what is inherent in man is evil this evil that lies in all human heart is cause of suffering even in the novel golding is not talking about the defects of the society but talking about the defects of human nature in the words of Gold, uh, william golding quote lord of the flies 
is an attempt to trace the defects of the society back to the defects of human nature. So, Golding supports the idea that uh, evil is basic nature of human being. Man produces evil as bee produces honey. It is the savage instinct in man which is cause of all violence, all destruction, all suffering that time to time man has to face. And history proves it. Writings proves it. We are aware about the wicked, tyrannical characters like Duryodhan Shakuni in Mahabharat, Kurj in Heart of Darkness, Iego in Othello, Macbeth in Macbeth, Saturn in Paradise Lost, and the cruel, wicked dictators of the world, uh, Mussolini, Napoleon, Hitler, they by their uncompromising ambition, intolerant approach uh, by their tyranny has changed this world, has brought destruction in the world. <clears throat> All wars, destructions, anarchy in the world is caused by their ambition. This evil that destroy this world, all the goodness of the world, is the main theme of Golding's novel. The evil for Golding is not an external force existing outside, but it is a force that lies within every human heart. This savage instinct brutal instinct. This instinct is put under control by societal mores, by civilization, by restraints, by institutions. But once this is removed, once the people are free from it and then the savage instincts are immediately coming out. So this evil that lies in every human heart is being suppressed, temporarily put under control by civilization, by restraints, by proper institutions. But it asserts its supremacy when the control is removed. Lord of the flies is not talking about an utopian world where everything is good. It is talking about a dystopian world where the world has been changed into a fiery hell by the ambition of few people, where the truth seeker, Christ-like figure, Savior Simon has ruthlessly been killed, where the order uh, civilization has been thrown to win. Lord of the Flies is a parable. Parable is a story that teaches the moral lesson. And this story is saying about the harmful effect of the removal of civilized restaurants, which results in a complete regression to a brutal and savage state. This text is also an allegory, allegory which carries forward two meanings, literal and symbolic meaning. So apparently this story seems story of few children, uh, adventure story, but it is not the story of children. It is the story of grown-up people. The way the adult world is involved in the war killing each other, bringing destruction, the same way the children are doing in this small island. Few children, British, uh, English children, they are being uh, landed on an 
maroon island where they are free from any adult supervision uh, they are free to do what they want initially they decided to form a civilized society but slowly and gradually they have been changed into beast they started uh, behaving like uh, in a very awkward way this could never been expected from the civilized man and uh, who is the cause of this change simon gets the answer through the head of a pig the pig the head of the pig says that i am the power of darkness i exist in every human heart the man searches me outside but i lie in every human heart so at the end the leading character ralph weeps for the death of innocence for the victory of darkness so the novel is telling about the power of darkness the victory of evil and it's always working against of human being it has been said that man is a rational creature education is making him a better human being but the novels of golding is throwing to the winds this thought of uh, society that man is the most irrational creature on this world the man is bringing destruction through his violent ambitious approach man is acquiring the knowledge not to bring the change in the society but this knowledge is breeding evil in the world okay so it's not bringing the enlightenment an educated man must be a realized man but education is not making a man a realized man an enlightenment with his education with his knowledge of technology and science the man is bringing destruction in the world thank you we will carry forward it in the next lecture